Hi, my name is Dawn Monroe, and today I'm going to show you how to make a form, a survey, a questionnaire on Microsoft Forms. Uh, this product is part of the Microsoft suite of products, so you very likely may have this if you have the Microsoft 365 subscription. So the subscription is a product that we can get updates all the time, we're connected on the internet, we can uh, store our files in a OneDrive account, and we can um, log in and use the web versions. So I here am logged in um, on an internet window. Uh, Forms is not one that we download to our computer. It's one that we come in and use here on the internet. So there I have my forms application open and I'm already there. You'll see that we can make a new form. It has a drop down. You can uh, start it as a quiz as well. I'm going to just go ahead and click new form. And here this gets us into our brand new form. Find a place to be here out of the way. Now, this is kind of an auto-saving thing, so you just start typing and working, and it will save as you go. Uh, let's call this the sample form, fancy name. You can uh, load in a description. You see over here, you can add a little picture or logo to your form, and then you begin adding new questions. We've got a little guy here uh, to help you with question suggestions. As you start building, maybe it's going to come up with some. Let's peek in there right now. Okay, so it's looking at some that I've added before. That's not what I want right now. So what I'll do is just add new, and let's begin with an easy multiple choice. So you can do um, whatever makes sense for the kind of form that you're doing. So maybe I'm going to ask a question about training. So what software do you want to learn? And then I'll do Excel. And ooh, look, uh, Microsoft is good adding um, potential ideas when you've typed some things in. So we'll put PowerPoint and Word, and then we'll add an other. We'll go with the biggies there. So again, I can add a graphic to this. You see I can duplicate the question. I can get rid of the question. And when I add more questions, I can use these up and down arrows. Once I've done this, um, do I want them to be able to choose more than one? Maybe they want all the training, so sure. Um, notice it changed from the circles to the squares. That's a quick way for me to see. The circles is one response. The square is a checkbox. I can check many. And then do I want this required? You can do that or not. It depends, whatever your form needs to be. And then here I've got a little option. I can um, shuffle these. I can add subtitling and I can branch off from these. So like if they said they, they wanted, let's say for example, Excel, then I could branch off and ask my next questions could be very specific to Excel. Do you want to learn functions? Do you want to learn pivots? And for PowerPoint, obviously that would be different. For Word, it would be different. So I could add branching if I want to. We're keeping this one simple. We're just learning. So add new, you've got text. So tell, tell me about what you'd like to cover in the training. Okay, so then I'll just um, let people answer that. Is it going to be a long answer or fairly reasonably short? And I forget the characters, but you know if it's going to be just a little bit or you, they need a couple of paragraphs of space. Again, required if you need it. Um, and then you get to decide on this. Let's look at restrictions. Okay, so here um, you can add in some qualifiers to, um, to validate your data before they put it in. So we don't really need that. 
Let's turn that back off. Okay, add new. You see how this goes. So you can pick the kind of thing you want to do. Here we can do a rating. We can do levels. Maybe you want a, you know, a 9 or 10 points or something like that. So question, how was that last training session? And then maybe, maybe we add a subtitle to that. You know how they always say, we love five-star reviews. <laughs> so you can add whatever you need to here. Now, see, these are activated now. I can move the question up and down in the training, uh, in the form, rather, and then add new. And so you keep going. Do you need a date? Um, and we can do uh, application date. We can turn off a subtitle here. And then if they've got a, they've got a date picker, which will be nice there. There are other kind of questions, rankings. I'll just show you. So in a ranking, they're going to get to pick what order they want them. So like a favorite to a least favorite. And let's do chocolate. Chocolate. Strawberry. And vanilla. And we're, so, rank the ice cream. Okay, something like that. Add a new one. Let's see what else we got in here. A Likert scale. Um, this one, it makes sense. You may not have heard the term, but it's uh, called a Likert scale. So you could set this up. You know, sometimes you see this, um, let's say, let's again take training. So how was the trainer? How was the room? How were the materials? So you could have statements for all those. And then you could put, you know, uh, uh, not so great to, to awesome. And you could put your range there and then people can pick. Let's do another one. What else is in there? You could upload file. Now, um, I know a few organizations that use this as a scholarship application. And so you can have people uh, add files and they go into a OneDrive folder. Isn't that handy? Um, even uh, one form I've done uh, and I, I need a photo for the website or something. Net Promoter Score, so that's what that one looks like. It looks familiar once you look at them. And I think that's all. Now you can divide your uh, document into sections if you need it. And so you could have a section two. Uh, this is a different section. Okay, and so then within there, so let's say we take one of these and we move it down. And so this falls now into section two. Hope that makes sense to you. Once you've done that, you can preview how the form looks. It's looking great. You've got a computer and a mobile, a desktop and a mobile view. So yeah, people can do this on the phone or on a tablet. You've got responses here. We'll see what that looks like uh, on one of my other forms that's completed. Let's play with the theme. Let's say this is something. We'll click on the questions and look at the theme. So a lot of these look like, like for kids in school, but there are some more office-y ones showing up in here now. So you can pick a, a theme like this um, or any of these designs or see the plus you can load your own or just keep it simple and use a color that's here. So however you want to do that. Now we're not quite ready to collect responses. Let me take a peek here at the settings first. Collaborate or duplicate. So maybe I want to share this form with someone else that's going to help me build the form. Like we're going to do it together. We're both adding questions and tweaking the design. That would be to collaborate. So if you click that, you can share it with someone else and you'll work on it together. That is different than collecting the responses. Uh, take a peek in the settings. Uh, and yes, you can translate in here. 
it will translate uh, for those people when they receive the form. Uh, I realized that was kind of an interesting setup there. And uh, printing form, you can do all that. But let's peek at settings. Okay, this is interesting. Do you want only people in your organization? Or do you need to turn that off? Do you want it so anyone can respond? Now, it, it, uh, until I've saved this in a location where it knows um, that it can send it out to anybody, it's going to show gray like that. But uh, I will be able to do that. And you'll see on some of my others I've got it set. Um, I think it just takes a, a little bit to get mine particularly loaded um, to my uh, OneDrive account for total sharing. Um, I would point out different things. You can uh, customize a thank you message. You can allow the recipient to get a receipt. I like to check the get email notifications of the responses. Once you have all of this set up, then you can begin collecting the responses. And so again, mine will uh, say anyone here shortly, but there, shorten the URL. This is the link you wanna copy. This is the one that you can copy and paste and share with others to invite them to fill out the form. If you wanna just have Microsoft Forms send it, you could just simply type in here people um, to email it to. A few other goodies, you can get a QR code for this form. I've used this a few times now. Of course, it works great on your printed materials when someone has their phone and can just snap uh, uh, on, on your QR code and bring up the form. It works wonderfully in presentations too virtual presentations, or even when you're live in the room with people, you can use these QR codes and have a form happening right live during meetings. I love that. This little thing out here is a Q, uh, pardon me, an embed code. If you copy here, it's a big long thing of code that goes on your websites. So you can embed your forms right on your websites. Okay, so that's the basic of the um, setting up the form, and now we want to play with responses. So let's go back to my forms. Let's look at one of these that I have, and actually I'm going to close that one and see if it behaves um, and, and will let me um, share with anybody then. Okay, so here's one I used. Are we having fun yet? I was at a live conference. I had my QR code up on the screen. I had people, it was hybrid, so I had people live online and in the room. People put in responses and I was just demoing this. So it was really, really fun. Now, viewing the results, this is telling me everybody um, that uh, responded to these. And so I was getting some response about the favorite tips that they liked that particular day. And um, let's look at view results. When you do this, you can look one person at a time. There's number two. There's number three. I can see how long they spent on it. And this is also where I can print responses. If this is the kind of thing where you take care of it and then you could delete it you could do that in here as well let's jump back another really nice thing is that you can download this whole set of data and open it in Excel it'll do this moment in time so this is how you would get the currently submitted form responses so this Excel sheet is not going to get new responses as they come in. There is a way to do that, and I'll make another video, and I'll link it for you. But this one is going to give us a moment in time, and every row is one of these responses. Okay? Now, um, I've had people ask me this question. I'll just tell you right now. If you wanted to see an individual response instead of a row, 
um, I was able to do these and let's say I right click and copy, I can make a new sheet and I could right click and transpose. Did you know you could take a row and make it a column? And so there is one response that I've, I've now isolated like that. So you might want to do things like that. I've had all kinds of situations with forms, how people want to use them. Um, when you get forms and you're getting notified in Outlook, you might want to consider setting up a quick step so that you could quickly pop it over into a folder of those responses. Or maybe you could set up a rule that your things coming from Microsoft Forms go into a Forms response folder on your um, email. And I do have a video for that. I'll also link that for you. Anywho, back to the form. What do you think of that? I'm hoping you're loving it. Okay, so that is my overview. There are some things here, deleting responses, printing the summary, sharing a summary link. Maybe someone else in the organization needs to see these responses. You could give them. I've also had people ask me about these individual pieces. Um, let's see what this details. Okay, that's giving us the individual. Um, in, if you do this in Google Forms, very, very similar. Uh, Google Forms has a little copy and paste for the individual summary, but why couldn't I do this too? And take an individual response and make that a picture. And I could bring that and copy and paste that over maybe to a PowerPoint or a report as well. So this is it for a simple program. It's actually very powerful. I hope you try Microsoft Forms and I hope this answers some of your questions. And uh, be sure and subscribe. Have a great, great day. Thank you.